What is going on, YouTube people? Today, we have a surprise drop by good old PSA, a new holder. Now, on the outside, it looks pretty similar to the old holder, but I think the devil is in the details on this one. You can find this over on the PSA YouTube page. They did about a 90 second, two minute long ish, three minute long ish video going over some details on the new slab. PSA president Ryan Hoge did a little bit of a breakdown of what to expect here. I've heard rumblings of this for a hot minute now. Um, basically, they are a little bit heavier. The plastic is a medical grade plastic and they have some additional protections for heat humidity, water, and UV, you see it on there. Supposedly, also, they will not Newton ring and get those other little marks that you see on a PSA slab. Uh, I've noticed them from coming in and out of team bags. They look like micro scratches almost sometimes. The Newton ring thing is very, very nice. Uh, I have a couple cards that have minor Newton rings, nothing crazy, but they're a pain in the butt. Um, the biggest reason Newton rings are a pain in the butt is because most people don't know what they are. So you have to kind of sit down and explain it. Uh, basically, you see this a lot in the comic book industry. CGC Slabs had an issue with this for a really long time. I believe they've corrected it now. PSA Slabs had an issue with it for a hot minute on the card side. Essentially, the card touches up against the plastic and then it makes it look like there is almost water on the card or moisture or something like that. It's That's not actually what it is. Uh, if people know what Newton rings are, as soon as you see one, you're like, oh, okay, I know what that is. If you're not familiar with them though, everyone always thinks there is something wrong with the card. It doesn't hurt the card at all, but it does take away from the appearance of the collectible. I know personally, there has been comic books that I have bid on or not bid on actively because of Newton rings. Now, like I said, it will not affect the value of the book. It does affect the eye appeal. Uh, you could always pay to get it reholdered. There's some other tricks to the trade on that on comics, not so much on PSA slabs. And I don't think that was a super widespread issue, but it's a nice issue to see fixed. Uh, they say it gets better UV light. I'd be curious, or better protection against UV. I'd be curious to know, the devil's there in the detail on that one. Like, is it fully UV protected? Like a slab mag is? or some of the other aftermarket products that you can put your slab in, or is it just, you know, better about UV? The other big thing that he notes is that they feel a lot heavier. They're about 20% heavier, and that gives them an extra heft that gives them kind of a premium feel. Uh, one of the knocks on PSA and SGC both is, is that the slabs don't feel premium in the hand. In fact, it does because it's big and chonky, and rrr, you can murder somebody with one of the edges. And I've always personally, and I've said this a million times, say what you will about the secondary market value of the big four, CGC has the best slab hands down. It feels great in hand and the plastic looks amazing. It is crystal clear. Now, we'll have to see what these look like. I obviously don't have one of these in hand yet. I think they've been sneaking out for a hot minute. He said it's going to start on sports cards initially and then we'll eventually go over to TCG, I'm assuming they probably have a back stock they want to use up and, and, and work out any of the other little issues that might pop up. They've been prototyping this for, I believe he said, about three years now. One of the other, he didn't mention this, but I have heard this uh, from multiple people. The word on the street is these are way harder to crack. Uh, they do not snip the corner, pull apart like the old PSA slabs. It'll be curious to see what those look like in hand. I'm almost half tempted to send in uh, a submission and just throw a couple cards in there that I don't care about that much just to get one back to try to crack it. But I have heard these are not fun slabs to crack at all. So that could be a interesting little twist on this situation where uh, the cards could be much more difficult to crack out of the slab. Now, listen, someone will get their hands on a bunch. People who do this all the time, they will figure out a new method that works, whatever it is. Uh, but just kind of keep that in mind. If you get one of these new ones back in hand and you go to crack it, or maybe you buy a slab and you, and you end up cracking it or whatever the case might be, 
if all of a sudden it doesn't crack the way that you're used to it cracking, uh, this very well could be the reason. It is nice of PSA, say which will about them. I know some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, it is nice for them to just kind of do this out of the blue unprompted. Uh, you know, Beckett has had some serious, serious issues with security around their slab for years now and counterfeits, and they've done nothing. Uh, we've been begging SGC for a new slab. Supposedly that's coming sooner rather than later. And CGC, they're still the new kid on the block, so we'll give them a little bit of a pass. Uh, but it's nice to see PSA kind of do this relatively unprompted and without a major issue with their current slab. If they kept rolling with what they were doing, I don't think anyone would have been super upset about it. There's, you know, there's some gripes. It's not a perfect slab. But generally speaking, the updates that they have made, a lot of them you can't even see. You know, it's, it's not going to be visible stuff. And I am sure uh, he doesn't touch on this, but I would have to imagine they have probably have some new anti-counterfeiting or security measures, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure they have snuck some things into this slab that they will keep under their hat to assist them in uh, fraud detection and that sort of stuff. Anytime you're going to update a slab like this, I would have to imagine they have tweaked some things on the back end or some little tricks that they've thrown in there to make it a little bit easier for them to detect if something has gone on with a slab, but something that we wouldn't even know existed, or you know, it has to be under a certain light or a certain microscopic level, or whatever the case might be to see whatever it is that they are looking at. So, new PSA slab coming to a Zion case near you. I'm sure some people won't like this. They'll, they'll say they want a new label or whatever. Uh, that's probably not ever going to happen. PSA is branded around that prescription-like label. It kind of is what it is. At this point, there are so many out there. Now, what, am I going to run out and rehold or anything to get the brand new slab? Uh, probably not. I can't think of anything I have in a PSA slab that is that valuable that I would want the absolute latest and greatest. If I had something crazy, maybe at the National, I would do a reholder on something. But just even off the top of my head, I can't think of a PSA graded card that I own of modern stuff that I would want to get reholdered. I still have some Manny Ramirez stuff from back in the day uh, that, that I bought when I bought that 90s insert collection of Manny. Some of that stuff was in old slabs. The nicer cards in that, I've actually already gotten reholdered. I don't think I have anything that's like, hey, you got to send me in and get me reholdered. Uh, but if you if you had something super crazy nice, something really high end, I could maybe see it. I could maybe see it, especially if you're at the National where they would do it there, where you could drop the card off on Wednesday or Thursday and then pick it up at the end of the week. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world if you had something super, super high end. But generally speaking, I don't know that that'll be driving a lot of their business for this. So... That's the update. As always, curious for your thoughts and comments down below. It would be nice to see the other companies do something like this. Once again, I'll give CGC a little bit of a pass here because their slab is still pretty new. I don't really have much in the way of gripes with it. Beckett. SGC. Come on, guys. Come on. Especially Beckett. Beckett has some serious security issues with counterfeiting that have been out there forever now, and they just have not even addressed it once. So that's all I got. Curious for your thoughts and comments, as I said, as always, down below. Catch you on the next one. Peace.